is George from High Tech Legion. With the new Z77 chipset being released by Intel, we're of course seeing an entire new line of motherboards coming from Asus. Included in that line of motherboards is the iconic Sabretooth. The Sabretooth was initially built as more of a workstation and server type motherboard, built to withstand just about anything you can throw at it, built with military class components and coming with a 5 year warranty. It does sometimes not include some of the niceties you'll find in the ROG motherboards or some of the higher end motherboards, but they tend to be more convenience features. The Sabretooth, as I said, is built entirely with military class components and has become a favorite with overclockers and enthusiasts everywhere due to its durability and its incredible performance. The Sabretooth Z77 comes with a five-year warranty. It is also PCI 3.0 ready. Uh, using an Ivy Bridge processor, you are going to get PCI 3.0 speeds. It is an LGA 1155 motherboard with the Z77 chipset, SLI and Crossfire ready, and features Lucid's Virtue MB, uh, MVP. If we head around the back of the box, we get our first look at the new Z77 Sabretooth. Very interesting looking piece with a complete cover over the motherboard components. That is called Asus's thermal armor on the Sabretooth. Thermal armor is going to protect the motherboard from heat coming radiated from other components as well as give it its own channel of cooling. Also included, thermal radar. There are four different heat sensors on the board, which each can individually control fans at the four different points um, where the heat is located. Therefore, it's going to give you more effective and efficient cooling. Tough components, all military class, alloy chokes. Also, tested server grade reliability. As I said, five-year warranty on this board. It is built as tough as they come. Heading to the inside flap of the box, we get a little bit more of the detail of some of the features. Thermal armor, total airflow boosting heat dissipation, as I said, uh, full protection and heat channeling for the motherboard. Thermal radar, real-time temp detection and heat removal for actual points which monitor heat along the motherboard and can automatically adjust fans in the correct location to keep heat away from the motherboard while still maintaining quiet cooling. Dust Defender, in addition to the thermal armor, each of the slots of the motherboard comes with a Dust Defender, kind of a dummy piece to fit into the slot which is going to match the thermal armor. It's going to give you a nice sleek look and prevent dust from collecting in any of your connectors in the motherboard. Tough components, certified by military standard, certified for tough duty as we said, all military standard chokes and caps used in the board. Moving on, new DigiPlus power controller. Multiple digital controllers for CPU, iGPU, and DRAM for precise tuning. USB BIOS flashback. No need to worry about a corrupted BIOS. Just put the BIOS on a USB flash drive. You can flash the BIOS without even the need to boot. Network eye control will allow you to prioritize each of your applications for uh, network bandwidth. UEFI BIOS. USB 3.0 boost for faster USB 3.0 speeds, USB charger plus, ESD guards, the new AI Suite 2 for absolute software control of just about every function of the motherboard, and complete USB 3.0. Taking a look at the Sabretooth, obviously it's a very, very different looking kind of piece. Uh, the components on the motherboard are almost entirely covered by the thermal armor that you see here. It's actually thick plastic, pretty tough. Uh, you've got a gunmetal-ish color uh, heatsink, as well as brown and beige color scheme going on your connectors, as well as PCI slots. Taking a look at the layout of the components, Obviously, CPU, your 8-pin motherboard power, two CPU fan headers, as well as a chassis fan header, four DIMM slots, supports up to 20 DDR3-2400 overclocked, motherboard power, another fan connector, eight SATA connectors, USB 3 header, your front panel header, two more fan headers, USB headers. Now taking a look, you've got one, two, three PCI Express X1s and one, two, three PCI Express X16s. 
Uh, really just interesting layout, like I say. Very pretty. Now, you've also got a couple of odd things. There's a knockout right here, if you take a look, which is actually can be replaced by a fan. The fan actually mounts to the motherboard and will help to circulate air. That would come out, fan going in will help to cool below the thermal armor. Second fan can be placed in the rear of the I.O. port and will blow in and give you an actual air channel through to cool your VRM. Those are optional, but obviously you're going to want to take advantage of the extended cooling. Taking a look at the back plate, four USB, two USB 3.0, two eSATA, HDMI, display port, digital audio, gigabit LAN, two more USB 3.0, and rear audio, obviously surround sound. Now, aside from the fans, you've also got your dust protectors. which come as part of the accessory kit. They will actually snap into place in any slots not being used, protecting them from dust and giving the motherboard a sleeker look. They are even included for RAM slots. Allowing you to put basically a dummy to protect the system from dust. But obviously, very sleek, very intriguing looking motherboard from Asus. The Sabretooth is built to withstand just about anything you can give it and comes with a full five-year warranty to back that up. Heading inside the box to take a look at the accessories. First thing you need to find, the Ultimate Force Tough Inside sticker for the outside of your case if you so desire. Certificate of Reliability. Every Asus Sabertooth motherboard is fully tested, capacitors, chokes, and MOSFETs. Certificate means it passed. Five-year warranty, all the information. User guide, and of course, driver, utility, DVD, as well as powered by Asus badge. Rear I.O. plate. SLI bridge, Q connectors, which are extenders for front panel connections on the motherboard. This gives you a little wiggle room to work outside the case, then plug in just one connector instead of trying to fit every single wire on there while it's, the motherboard is mounted in the case. And four SATA cables, two SATA 3, two SATA 2. The Asus Sabertooth Z77 is definitely one of the most interesting looking motherboards we've uh, seen in a long time, but it is definitely not just looks. There's a lot going on under the hood. Taking a look at the thermal armor, uh, it's going to absolutely keep the motherboard cooler with its own two fans to channel air through, keeping the motherboard components cooler. It's also going to keep heat away from your CPU as well as keeping heat from other components away from the motherboard components. As we've seen, the dust shields, which I've installed in the unit completely, will completely keep dust out of unused slots and components you're using. With the Z77 chipset, it is fully featured. Uh, it is Crossfire and SLI ready, three PCI Express 16 slots, two of them being 3.0, one 2.0, and three PCI Express 1X one, uh, slots. It has eight SATA connections, uh, four of them being SATA 3. It has USB 3.0 boost, so you're going to get up to almost up to 10 times the speed from your USB 3.0 as claimed. Also, you're going to have the thermal radar, which is present under the thermal armor. It gives you complete control over fans, allowing it to adjust the fans for the best cooling in the best spots of your case to keep you silent, but still provide adequate cooling to each of your individual components. Really a full featured, very nice looking piece from Asus, back to the five year warranty, all military spec components, the Tough Series um, from Asus once again.